I gotta admit, I never thought I'd love this game as much as I do. <laughs> Back in Ark Survival. And I got a Pteranodon. He was only level 20. Oh, there's uh, an Argentavis or something down there. Those are bad. They will kill me. But, yeah, I just love it. This is up on one of the high peaks. Um, it's, it's not the original map. It's one of the mods. But I love it. It's beautiful. And I've been flying around. I, I captured and tamed a Pteranodon. I've done a lot of work, actually. I've been, uh, I built a raft, been building up, putting a lot, of, a lot of materials away so that I can go somewhere. Are you coming this way? No. Okay. He's something trying to kill him. But, um, so that I can, is he going to, did he kill him? Well, probably not. Um, so I put a lot of materials away, cause I have a lot of uh, stone walls built and stone foundations built and such so that I can just go somewhere and park my raft and just place so I don't have to worry to kill me I can put up you know four walls and a roof before hopefully <laughs> before I die again um, and a bed put down a bed yes absolutely so I can spawn back I've found a lot of things on this island and in this mod pack um, and it is a pack of mods it's, it's a, I say a mod pack it's not like a mod pack like um, you know Technic Launcher has or anything like that but it's definitely you know the, the set I think is what every a lot of people are using right now um and i'll put the mod list in the description but it's it's really cool doing it however i don't know where to go to build a base um and i'm seeing all this new neat stuff and a lot of it just wants to kill me you know it just wants to kill me that's all there is to it so i don't want to oh that's a prime and that's an alpha okay going this way very fast run away run away yes you run away from why do you run away from alphas? Because they kill everything, man. I mean, you have to be, like, top dog to get... I hope he didn't, he didn't see me, actually. Let me turn around. Look. Is he behind me? I think he's right behind me. What's that from Avatar the Death Shadow? When you see its shadow, you die. That's what I'm thinking is going to happen. The, the brightness, too, on this guy's wings. I mean, he's kind of pretty. Um, honestly, he was the first Pteranodon that got close to me. He landed, and... I don't know what that noise is. However, um, but he's one of the first pteranodons that I saw. He landed beside me. He was like, hey, what's going on? And I went, well, I'm going to tranquilize you. Tame you, baby. And he was like, oh, well, that sounds cool. I've never been tamed before. Whoa. Yeah. So I knocked him down and, um, and, and took him as my own in the most kind and nicest of way. Uh, let me land right here and just see if there's anything around. He just wants to absolutely wreck me. Um, I want to take a look at the map, but I have to get off the bird, really, to see it well. And to be honest, I don't want to get off the bird right now. So, well, I'm going to fly around for a little bit. And so I'm going to show you, I can remember which river I'm at. I think this is the second river, which doesn't mean anything to you guys, but it's something to me. And there are really cool runes along on this in this map and I think along this river someone told me there were some ruins they liked that had not been claimed uh, there are quite a few people playing on the server which again is why I play games I really I want to play with people I don't want you know there's more trends really looking for if it's bright red it's gonna come kill me alphas and primals and all that stuff and it's just me yeah, I keep getting distracted by, like, everything, because you, you really, you get a little paranoid, you know? But I like it. I like the fact that if I make it on this map, if I make it in this, this, uh, there's a raptor down there kicking, kicking some dodo into the ocean. I hope a megalodon eats you, raptor, because you're, raptors are jerks. Yes, it may be because they've killed me a couple hundred times. In lives, it happens, you know? The game makes you really paranoid. It makes you really look around and like keep an eye on you know behind you and above you and everywhere so that hopefully nothing finds you and kills you. I'm just gonna go up high again. I'm gonna run out of energy soon. This guy's about halfway down. But I'm gonna fly around for a little bit and see if I can find me a good place to put a base. And I'll also uh, fly over to Starter Island and let you guys see that. I think you'll be very impressed with what uh, this server is put together for people who like me, just end up dying a hundred thousand times. Come on, let's, let's, get, what is that? Okay, that's a parasaur and something else. 
Maybe it's a pair of pairs. Oh, look, little set. If there's dodos around, that means there's no predators around. So you can sit and rest. You gotta remember, and that's the sound of a dodo, which I thought for a long time was the sound of a Dilophosaurus, which is a horrible thing that kills you easily. Anyway. All right, I'm gonna fly back over to Starter Isle. What's that down there? Is that a T-Rex? Probably a T-Rex. Probably seeing me and coming right at me. So, all right, I'll be right back. Alive, I'm fine. All right, so you wanna know what a raft is supposed to look like? Okay, so this, this is the basic raft. You build yourself a raft, you get on any body of water, and you can go just about anywhere. I don't know why it says new home. That's not, I didn't put that on there. Maybe I put it on when I played before or something. But you can see me, where I'm at, that's a little island. The island to the east, full of death. Lots of death. Yeah. All right, but that's where you spawn in, one of the many choices. And then you make your way over to this island. But they put up a bridge. Do you see that? Yeah. So they put up a bridge, which makes things far easier. So that's the island of death. That's where the, um, well, there was an alpha and killed everything I owned. And then I killed it. And then a primal showed up. And it killed me and my ha it ate my house yeah so trust me primals are terrible things but anyhow you come over the bridge all right and build yourself a raft to get here if you need to this is an irrigation device don't even worry about it we'll look at that in a minute so here's the raft nice nice this is what you start out with this is not mine uh i did not build mine either but this is the basic and then this is the expanded model i don't know whose this is this is they, uh, they do have a lot of uh, Dilophosaurus over there, so yeah, I've got to be careful about that. But that's probably the uh, the deluxe model. It's a house. I'm not going to go in because I don't know whose it is. You know, and I, I'm sure they'd be fine with it. Everybody's really nice. But since I don't know whose it is, I'm not going to jump over there and you know without invitation. Um, but yeah, and then they got a ramp they put down when they pull up so that their their Dillos can get right in there so yeah start with the basic model get up to the advanced now mine was built by uh, one of the other players on the server and he basically I got destroyed everything was wrecked I was trying to get my stuff back together and he said no seriously Al get over here here's a raft I'm building it for you and wah voila. so the basic um, I and mean, it was keep six who built it by the way so the base down there oops oh I lagged rubber banded so the basic raft is down there, and then they put all the foundations all over it, um, and then put what are called ceilings, but basically work as flooring as well, because ceilings can do that, um, around that to make it even bigger. And he actually got at this point, he said, you want it bigger than that? And I thought, but, but no, what? I can't. So he got that and uh, put a box on it for me so I could just put the, the minor amount of materials that I had left, uh, because again, survival games, you gather a lot of stuff, wood and you know ore and fiber and all that stuff to build with um and so since then i have gotten now he put the large one i put the small one he put a large and then i built two more large and then two more large over there and then this is a smithy for making items and this is a mortar and pestle for making like narcotics and nar narcotics you give to the dinos when you tame them to keep them asleep um, i put a, a forge on here and a campfire for food they have installed, this is a decorative fire pit, basically, called a fire pit, um, that you can, you can add in above and beyond, uh, just because it looks cool, you know. Um, and they added standing torches, that's one of their mods, so the torch just kind of hangs out here. Like, I, I have one, I can put it in my hand, and rah, and there's light, and it keeps me a little warmer. This one, basically, is just a standalone. It stands here, and, you know, stands. It's a standing torch. But... The raft is amazing. I'm really impressed with it. Um, Keep six, I gotta tell you, man, if you ever see my videos, I really appreciate this. This has helped me out a ton. Because again, once you get a raft, you can get around much easier. All of the area that you see is water. You can water and there are like piranhas and megalodons and just all sorts of nasty, horrible death in the water, but they can't get you when you're on a raft. Now you can get picked up by a bird, which is a terrible thing, let me tell you, from experience. But, the sun's going down, it's getting dark. But you have the the uh, opportunity to basically get through all the waterways, because most of the birds don't come down to the waterways, unless you, like, if you shot one, he would come get you. Um, you know, because they get mad at you. 
But this allows you to go and start gathering resources and doing some farming, basically, as it were. Get a lot of the things that you need um, to survive and to thrive. So what I've started doing is in this chest, storage room, I've got a bunch of stone foundations, which is what you use to build the foundation of your home. And then a bunch of stone walls, and I'm going to make more from there. And then I've got a bunch of extra stuff, like cementing paste. I've got to put all this stuff away. Um, narcotics already made, stimulants, just whatever you need, you know, cloth boots, whatever. And I've been picking those up by taking the raft over to those little pylon-looking things. And this is before I had a bird to fly on, a pteranodon. But those pylon things, that light drops this supply crate at the base of it. And you want to go look at one? Let's go look at one. Because it's full of stuffs. And it's really, really cool. Now, um, this is, we should, ooh, I'm getting so distracted. This island. So they said, go to Starter Island. It's not marked. You can't spawn here. But basically, these are all Starter, oops, this dino is way bigger than he appears. These are all Starter Island dinos that you can, you know, hop into and take and do whatever you want to do. This is the metal glass buildings. Really cool stuff. A Stargate system. Yeah, I love Stargate. So there's a Stargate system where you can actually take this to everybody's base once they get, you know, build it and, and put a, a thing on it. This, I don't know what, level 705. I don't want to take because I just end up killing him or something. So I got, oh man, it gets really dark really fast. There we go. You're kind of scary too. And that's the thing is a creature could be right there and you don't see it and then suddenly, wah, it scared me. All right, so sky is mine. And you can borrow any of the other ones. And they're, they're very, you know, hey, take one if you want it. And I admit I use this um, Gigantopithecus over here, who's basically a big gorilla. Come here, gorilla. And he smashes plants and trees into fiber and thatch really easily, which you need for building. Oh, it disappeared. Which you need for building. So he was very, very useful. I, I destroyed all the trees here. I hope they respawn. I think they will. They should. Um, but, um, I missed that, that pylon or whatever they call it. So we can't take it over there, but yeah, so I, I, you can use any of these. I and mean, this is very, very cool because, you know, arc survival is about survival, but it's a lot of PVP and these guys are not doing that all, all PVE. Although I think friendly fire is on, so you can smack, sam smack people. There's another one. I'm not going to that one because it's not easy to get to. And since it's not like right on the beach, I'll go over there in the dark and get killed. If it was daylight, I might go try it. But I've been picking up a lot of things from these guys, from these little pylons. Um, I'll put him back. And the cool thing is, is I can leave my dino and kind of, I'm kind of cheating here. Land. Land, come on. Oh, come on. Sky, stop it. All right, so. Ugh. More dillos. Dillos creep me out. I just gotta tell you, I don't like you. That's a great hunting pack right there. But um, <laughs> great little pack for hunting. Yeah, I mean, they will attack your target. Your target is dead, man. But these guys are creepy. They're the little spitters you've seen them, you know, in Jurassic Park. Dilophosaurus, I believe. Dillos. Um, but uh, they put down a feeding trough over here, which feeds all of the animals in the radius. So basically, that's taking care of any food that my guy might need. Meaning I don't have to actually put meat on my life. So, yeah. So that's what I'm doing right now. Running around basically trying to survive. And I've picked a place I think I'm going to build a base at. Maybe. i got to go over there and investigate it ere the sun rises. Which would be over that way. Sun rises over there. Now that's east. <laughs> so, however, looking real quick um, at my stuff. This is just some of Now I got this myself. Um, this is a, you kill a alpha T-Rex, I think it is. I don't know what it is, but I killed it. Yeah. It was being attacked by other things and it almost died. And I've happened to get in and kill enough to, <laughs> to kill it. So I got this drop. It doesn't count. It, it, it's, it's a fake. I don't really like to take credit for, for this kill, but that's all right. So somebody gave me scuba flippers. Neat. So I can swim really fast, all right? And then a scuba mask, neat, and a canteen. All this other stuff that's just, you know, but like shotgun shells and magnifying glasses. And then over here, um, electronics and guns and shotguns, 
scopes and, and silencers and flashlights and all this other stuff that and swords yes a sword a celestial sword i don't know why it's celestial and then pieces from a ghillie suit which is really cool yeah i'm picking all this up from the uh pylons when they drop from the storage crates come from that so i i hate to say it, but i'm kind of like faking it a little i'm not really surviving right now i'm using the the mechanics of the game but i feel kind of bad doing it so um yeah but it's stuff that I really don't know what to do with anyway, so it's kind of just I'm going to put it in there, and when I need it, I'll be able to use it uh, for, instance, these blueprints. Lots of really cool blueprints for things you can build. You know, a, a holoscope. Now, these are items that already exist. You can get the, what they call them, engrams to learn how to make these. But some of these are, like this is a blue one, you know, a rare one. I've got uncommons and rares, which have, I guess, more health. Um, things of that nature. Most of the stuff is just standard stuff anyway, but, you know, still pretty cool, huh? Yeah, I'm liking it. So I'm really enjoying Ark. So what I'm going to do is take my raft. Actually, I'm going to take my bird over there and find the place that I want to build, and then I'm going to take my raft over there and start the building. And like I said, Minecraft is one of my favorite games. I love the crafting and building part of it. The survival's not that big a deal, honestly. Surviving in Minecraft these days, meh. I mean, you're you're the boss. If you're not the boss, you're doing something wrong. But um, this place, much more, is much more, much, much, much more dangerous. Um, not only just the dillos, them, the the dillos, the dinosaurs themselves, like the Dilophosaurus and such. They they spit stuff and hit you, and you're you can't see and you start to pass out and it just eats your face while you're passing out you're not even dead yet it's horrible um, and raptors yeah raptors come running at you you hear it and then you're dead yeah it's terrible but there's the survival aspect that I kind of really want I want to be a little scared at night I want to be I'm not scared here because of where, where we're at but I guarantee if I was on that beach I'd be putting walls up and hiding like inside the campfire hopefully nobody can get me so, but this is basically a much more demanding survival game, and yet you get the building aspect of it too. As you can see, the, the raft isn't a good example, but I'm going to go put up, I'm going to build a, something of a medieval keep with stone towers and stuff around it, I think. We'll see, but that's, yeah, that's my idea. We're going to do that uh, somewhere over here, see what we can do. So, all right, having fun, and we'll see you when we see you.